Galloway's Accessible Cooking Products with David from RNIB. Yeah, thank you for inviting me to your, 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 your little group. Um, I want to talk to you just about one product today, the new RNIB microwave. Um, it was something that we talked about for quite a long time. We used to sell a lot of another brand of microwave. Um, we identified clearly a microwave, some of that's quite important or arguably very important to people inside the homes. Um, the feedback that we got about the microwaves that we sold, although they talked and did the job, they were arguably unnecessarily complicated, a little bit difficult to use. And um, so the main, the main ethos, if you like, of the new microwave was to try and make it simple to use. And I think that's what most people want. I think we've done quite well with that, and I'll demonstrate that microwave. Um, comes in a nice branded box, um, all sent to you. Um, I would say potentially you might need some assistance to set it up. Uh, when it comes in the box, the weight of it is uh, 14 and a half kilograms, so it's quite heavy. Um, I mean, if I'm not very careful, I might, Ooh. yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not actually in this box, it's an empty box. Um, I've set it up around the corner, but it does also come with a film on top of it. Um, which you need to take off like a see-through plastic film. Um, it's not that difficult to take off, although I would argue some side assistance may be needed uh, depending on the individual. So without further ado, I will turn around and hopefully, oh, that looks a bit bright, see if I can avoid the reflection, there's a reflection from somewhere, um, I don't know. That's not good enough. I don't know where that reflection is coming from. Um, here is the new RNIB microwave. Um, my first impression when we had this delivered was I thought, oh, it, it actually looks quite nice. It looks quite smart. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but I perhaps wasn't expecting it to look quite as slick. Um, in terms of the color, for those that can't see, the, the microwave has a black glass finish on the front. Uh, with the RNIB initials in the top left-hand corner and the brand C differently. Um, the whole point of the microwave, as I said earlier, is it, it's designed to be simple, so it actually only has four buttons on there. It has a small circular button at the top with an M printed next to it uh, with a single tactile dot. The M stands for minutes. It has a set, the same size button, but with two tactile dots directly underneath it. Um, with an S next to it, which you can perhaps guess stands for seconds. Uh, the final of the three buttons, which are the same size, doesn't have a tactile mark on it. Uh, it has a P next to it, and that stands for power. And as you can perhaps guess, that's how you change the power. And um, the only other button on it is the start reset button, uh, which you press to start it. And it also allows you to change the volume, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Um, other things I've deliberately placed on this surface, which is, uh, it's a kitchen work, worktop surface. I apologize about the glare, if that bothers anybody, but I thought it's, it's best to do it on a surface that reflects what the microwave will actually go on itself. A lot of people ask, will it slide forward? Will it move forward? And I thought if I put it on the same thing, you'll be able to see that and make up your own minds whether, whether it's any good. Um, let me plug it in. It's been, I've got, um, since lockdown started, I used to go out. I would have liked probably to come in person to your group and, and show you this in person, but obviously I'm not allowed to go anywhere. So my house has become almost a dumping ground for various various RNIB products, which my wife isn't too impressed about. Uh, but what, what can you do? Um, so you might have heard when I turned the power on, it said power on. Um, the volume, I'll just demonstrate that straight away. It has 15 different levels. Volume 10. You turn the dial to the right. Volume 11, volume 12, volume 15, volume 15. Up to a maximum of 15. Um, a lot of people will probably just have it on that. Other people might be annoyed by it. So at least you've got the flexibility to change it. Mm. Um, it will tell you every time you turn the dial a little bit. Um, you don't have to turn it much to get it to move. Um, but it is reasonably flexible. Um, there's not a great deal of difference, to be honest, between, say, level 10 and level 11. So you can generally find the comfortable one for you quite easily. Um, when you open the microwave... Door open, beware, hot contents. It says door open, beware, hot contents, as you just heard. Um, it comes with a pretty standard, I suppose, on microwaves nowadays, the ring that helps it to rotate. 
Um, a common question is how easy is this to put in? Because we all know these plates can get dirty and you're going to want to clean the plates uh, for hygiene reasons, obviously. So it may be involved that's taken out quite a lot. In, in my opinion, I mean, I've, I've used a lot of microwaves, to be honest, over the years. This is this has got to be up there. It's one of the easiest. You just put it in the middle and it goes in. Um, I've done that really without looking and it's never taken me more than two seconds to put it in. Um, so that seems pretty good. I, I did a demonstration the other day and I, I actually forgot to put anything in it, which is obviously quite stupid. You should never cook anything in a microwave without putting anything in it. Uh, so let me get a cup of water. Very exciting TV this. I should, I should make my own TV show. Or perhaps not. Um, that was me kicking something under the table as opposed to the microwave. It will tell you every time you open and close the door. Um, one of the other things, the most relevant things, when you're setting the microwave up, the first thing you need to do is set the power level. It has five power levels. The low mode is 90 watts. If the, if the, if the watts mean anything to anyone, then you have it. Defrost mode, 270 watts. Medium 450, medium high, medium 630, and high, which is the most common one, it's 900 watts, so it's a decent power microwave. You then need to choose your time. I'll just, I'll do it, I'll do it in a minute so we see the demonstrations. Minute, minutes. minutes, you just simply press it for how many minutes, minutes you want to do it for. Minutes. Similarly with seconds. With seconds, it goes up in increments of 10 seconds. 20 seconds. Now, if I've made a mistake, clearly it would be a very boring video if we just watched this four minutes 20. Um, you press can start, reset. Press and hold start, three seconds to cancel. As it says, press and hold start for three seconds. Cancel. So that, that would be, uh, like I say, not the most exciting demonstration. So if I just put it on for a minute, I would choose my power level. So I'll put it on for high. Choose my minute. One minute. One minute. Press the start button. Um, I'll do that again slower if anyone wants me to see, but essentially it's pretty simple to use. And again, that's seconds. the whole point. It counts down and gives you normally a, a warning at the, how long's left. Every 30 seconds is standard. And then when it gets closer, it will tell you per 10 seconds we're in the final minute. So it's telling me per 10 seconds. Then we have the traditional 10, 9, 8, 7. Very exciting con content at the end. So I apologise, this is probably not the most exciting TV, like I say. So <laughs> <laughs> other facts, um, how big is it? It's got, it's got a 25 litre capacity. Um, so it's decent size. You can fit your big size dinner plate in there, no problems at all. Um, like I said, you may not be able to see this, of course. There is a display, an LCD display counting down. Um, this is, it's, it's, it's crystal clear LCD screen. It's in a, what I would say, a daylight color in the top right hand display. So for those who can see it, great. Um, it's nice and easy and simple to see. And that also highlights the power mode when you're putting it on. Uh, so you can see it as well. It hasn't got a handle, if you like, on the side of the door. Um, I've got a microwave over on the other side of my kitchen, our personal microwave, which has got a handle, which, to be honest, is exactly the same, I would say, to open as this one. Um, it, it did move forward slightly on this non-slip surface. You could, of course, put something like um, a small, smallish piece of Dyson down underneath um, on, the, on the kitchen worktop surface, and that would stop any problems with it sliding forward. Um, I don't believe, and this is obviously to open the microwave, how easy is it to do? Because I've heard, again, a very common problem is that it's quite difficult to sometimes open these microwaves. In my opinion, it's pretty easy. Um, like I said, I've, had a, I've seen a lot of microwaves. I've had some which are quite stiff and annoying to open. And you end up pulling the microwave forward before it opens. Uh, but I would say that one's pretty good. The other benefit, if you like, of this one compared to other talking microwaves, I suppose, is the price. And um, this is cheaper than the competitors. Um, I would say noticeably cheaper. The retail rate is £185. Um, it's obviously a variable VAT product, so you wouldn't pay VAT on it. Um, 
I believe the Cobalt one is 230. The, the like for like one and the other one is 299. So in my humble opinion, this is probably better. It's easier to use. It's simpler and it's cheaper. So for those reasons, I'd say it's a winner. Um, you could argue it's still reasonably pricey, but I think that's the world we live in, unfortunately, where things that talk are designed for a specialist market seem to cost a little bit more. Um, like I say, unfortunately, that seems to be the way, the way it works. We have tried to buy it in bulk, and obviously we're a non-profit, so we're trying to make it as a lower retail price as possible. Um, but, yeah, that's probably most of the facts and fixtures about it. Um, if there's any questions at all or you want me to go through anything again, um, specifically about the microwave, um, please please let me know and I'll hopefully be able to help. Uh, on the front of the microwave, um, there's a, a handle, if you like, that's underneath, which you can grab a hold of. It's about four, four and a half inches long, I would say. Um, yeah. you, you can slide your hand in it, you can physically grip it and then open it. Um, yeah. I could probably pick it up and smash the microwave yeah. and see underneath that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, did you say what the actual dimensions were? The dimensions themselves, I don't think. I yeah. Did. That's a very good point. Um, um, <laughs> well, while you're looking for them, David, for those of you who are on the phone, to open this microwave, basically where the microwave door is, you open it from just underneath the door. There's like a little ledge that you pull the, the door open with. <laughs> And obviously you press the, the door back, but that's how you open it. So Dave is just measuring. I've got, I've got old fashioned because I don't, I don't have it on my computer screen. I'll end up muting myself again, no doubt. So in inches, it's about 20 inches across or 51 centimetres. And the depth of it is 13 inches or 30 centimetres. And the height of it, which I appreciate is an important point because you've got to fit it underneath the cabinets and what have you. From the base where it's on the floor, it's 12 inches or 31 centimetres. Thank you. Lovely. Does anybody yeah. else have a question? So I was wondering about, you know, what 27, there's a, there are others that are 27 <laughs> yeah. litres. So the inside dimensions, if you like, which I suppose is probably more relevant in your particular case, if you're looking at, you, you're looking to cook a roast chicken in there. Um, it's 20, 21 centimetres high inside. But of course, you've got the uh, plate there, so you'd have to take that Ooh. one down if it was sitting on the plate. So if it's not sitting on the plate, it's 18 centimetres of height you've got. So the question is, have you got anything that's going to be more than 18 centimetres of height that you want to cook regularly? Mm. If you do, you're right. You might, depending on the accessibility features of it, you might be off get a better, get a, get, getting a bigger one. You've got to consider that there's no point having a microwave that's not big enough for you at the end of the day. No, if no. If you regularly cook big things in there, then... Yeah, you need to get a bigger one. It may be something. Yes, it certainly <laughs> looks quite big, doesn't it? it, it yeah. What's it, what's the size of that glass plate then, so we can compare it with a you glass. know a dinner plate that we have? Because yeah. obviously, if it if it goes on there and it's okay, it oh, should yeah. be okay, yeah. shouldn't no, it? I'll get you a dinner plate. Am I being too fussy here? No, we're making oh, David. Oh, David's oh, losing weight running around here. Quite a large <laughs> dinner plate. Um, this is the one I use to cook my lot. I don't like a small plate. Who wants a small plate? You want a large mm. plate, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> if I stick the large plate on there. Oh, that, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Size. Yes. So I've never noticed any plate. It depends what you put in there. Like I said, I know some people do cook things that are quite tall or they put those additionally, get the, the stands, can't you? They've gone on top. Uh, the, the plastic stands, so it depends on what you use, but I think for most people it would, should be all, all right. I think this is for, for, for some people, like, you could argue it might be better just to stick bump on a cheaper one that's bigger, and you feel maybe that would do the job. I don't know, um, maybe not. <laughs> Um, it should go in black and white kitchens. I mean, I'm, I'm anything but an interior designer, I'll make clear, so I've got no idea really, but you know, it looks as though it would fit in a neutral kitchen, a black kitchen. It would it would go with most colours, I think. Um, I well, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like a specialist piece of equipment, does it? That's it. I think that's the point. Yeah. Experience. It just to anybody walking in, it just looks like your regular microwave. Nobody's yeah. going to know that that talks. No, it's very Why? sleek looking. It is yeah. for those on the telephones. It is very very sleek. It's very flat fronted. It's all nice mm -hmm. black glass on the front. 
it's got white board around it. It's a very nice looking microwave, actually. Um, it's very neat. got its uh, silver colour, silver colour around the outside. Oh, is it silver? All oh, right, it must be how it's shiny on here. But it does look very nice. But I spoke to someone that's got one of these microwaves. The lady had sight loss, and she says she keeps a mug of cold water in it so she doesn't put the high power on when she's not using it. She said that was a good tip in case she ever hit the high high power button. She keeps a mug of cold water in it. That's an interesting tip, that actually. Yeah. Hopefully with this one, you so can hit the so high power by mistake, though, because it'll still tell you specifically what power mm -hmm. it is before you go on there. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. At least oh, with yeah. this, with it talking, you can hear it. It'll turn her on mm. to you to tell you what's going on. But my tip for if you have a microwave, get one of those plastic covers so it doesn't splatter over the lovely newness of that new microwave when you buy it, because they're not the funnest thing to start cleaning, are they, microwaves? So there would are, you mind just are, reminding I us of... I know, regularly. Yeah. You know, you can... after each meal, apart from breakfast, I do. The other question I wanted to ask before David goes, are you going to be doing a combination version of that? That's a good yeah. question, yeah, because we, we, we purposely didn't discontinue the cobalt version of the combination of them. We still sell that because we know, right. some, we, we know some people still want it. Mm. Um, um, so obviously we don't really care who makes it at the end of the day. Right, so you're not, you're not, you're not going uh, to... Well, there are, there are oh. we, to, to be honest, there are problems at the moment in the factories where these are made. There's a, there's a believe it or not, a worldwide shortage of chips. Uh, and we yes, asked, yeah, you, I've heard of that because it's affecting the water yeah, industry. But the, yeah. the company who've made them for us, um, we are looking at other things. Yeah, we, if, if it's popular, it seems to have been very popular in the UK. And we sold um, a, a very large amount to Australia as well. It's really popular in Australia as well for some reason. I suppose it's just maybe they like the accent. Uh, the one the one in Australia, I think, used to cost £400 as well. They also, you know, so that's probably another good reason why they like this one. Um, but yeah, that's what people charge, unfortunately. Sometimes if it talks, let's have an extra. Is it for somebody who's blind and past your sight? Oh, well, that's double the price then. That's mm. honestly, that seems how it works. Yeah. Yeah, because a friend of mine might come and stay and she, she won't be able to use my existing microwave. It's all right for somebody uh, who's got some sight like myself, but she's no sight at all and she's going to need speech. And I thought, well, I'm looking at a combination anyway. And I thought, well, when if they ever going to do a, a combination version of that same microwave? I don't think it would be. I think it would be a year type of time frame before they look at doing that. So if you needed one, well, I mean, the cobalt one is okay. Don't get me wrong; I'm not slating that at all. It's just it's a little bit complicated sometimes. Arguably, too too many dials. Yeah, uh, and it's really reliability. I've heard too much about cobalt stuff breaking down yeah. as well. Uh, the other thing I want is more a tip. It's not so much a question, and it's really from feedback that I know that have bought that. It comes with a lot of polished iron chippings, doesn't it, as part of the wrap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it comes. Yeah, it's, they it's, can be a hazard for guide dog users. Yeah, that's what it comes. This is actually inside that in the plate, and it comes sits on side of this, and it's actually inside the microwave. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I thought it was surrounded. I thought the box itself was full of polished iron chippings. Oh no, no, it's this is it's got one of these on the bottom, which it sits on, and one of these on the top. And oh, that's, right. it hasn't got any polished iron chippings in there, no. All oh, right, because I thought uh, right, I thought you know them little polished iron crisps. Yes, no, it's a very good point. Yeah, I've heard that. I have heard that bad for dogs. Well, would clearly they're bad for dogs. It depends on the type of dog. One of my colleagues has got a new dog, which is apparently just eats anything. You put anything on the floor, it doesn't matter what it is, it just swallows it. Oh. Yeah. And my, have you got time for my husband to ask you something? Of course, yes, go ahead. Just one, one quick question. When you set the power, yeah, uh, you set it at 900 and you've done whatever you want to do, does it then revert back to zero and you have it to- It shows that, yeah, that's, 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 that, that is true. Unfortunately, it does. I know, generally speaking, personally, I always just use 900, so- Yeah, well, we would normally, but, but, but if you do that, and then you've, wrote, you've got to set it to 900 again next time- you have, you... I think they did that as a safety, a bit like the previous, yeah. the previous comment where you accidentally put it on full power, yeah. Um, and yeah. you don't want to yeah. and you suddenly burn something I think that's why they've done it so you can actually cycle through so you know you're putting it on the right power yeah okay but it's a bit annoying I think maybe a little that would slow you down you'd have to go one two twelve Cross, medium high five it takes a second I suppose but you yeah. still press it yeah. Yeah. I can understand the safety aspect of it yeah yeah, yeah I think the safety it's 
safety first really especially when you're dealing with something like a mm. microwave because obviously things are coming out of there that can be really quite hot um well i'm conscious of david's time if everybody wants to stay on and we'll have a chat about what's coming up with galloways in the next few zooms over the next few weeks i'm more than happy to do that um thank you very much david um, as thank usual you. you can buy this off the rnib website or via the telephone number and i can give you that out uh, if, you, if anybody hasn't already got it well, at the end galloways, of this session you from galloways can you not um so well we probably if you if you're struggling it we might be able to order it for you then you pay us but if you want to buy direct um there's you know it's it's just as good and obviously if you, you do have any issues it isn't the product you want to in fact the r and i b will be able to deal with you Definitely. direct on yeah, that yeah there's, there's always a 14 day the thing with the microwaves you've got to be wary of i suppose it is a it is um like a health issue so if somebody uses the microwave for does unless it's faulty of course then you can always mm. no questions asked but I think if you like dirty it up, we can't really resell it. Yeah. Um, so if you splatch your tomato ketchup and sauce <laughs> everywhere inside, they won't take it back when it's orange inside. That's not a fault. Generally, there's a 14 day <laughs> unsuitability. So if you buy something and you don't like it within 14 days, you can full stop, no questions asked, get your money back. Unless yeah. there's an issue where it's like a hygiene where you've, you put it in your mouth and you thought, oh, I don't really like that. And I'll just it back. Yeah. Which is probably fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you, David. I appreciate the time. Under the time constraint, I think you've done us a very good demo there. Um, thank you. Yeah. So yeah. I'll fix this again soon. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, David. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.